Oh my gosh, by the time I am recording this video, it's still 3-0 to Arsenal, 65 minutes. I have enough, I've seen enough, I gotta go somewhere. I need maybe some something to drink. I don't drink alcohol, but maybe it's the right time for me to get a beer or something and go to sleep. My goodness, just when you think Arteta is one game away from getting sucked, we gave him life one more time. I don't know what to say, man. I have enough. I don't even care about the final result. It is what it is. That was embarrassing. It was men against boys. You can blame whoever you want. I'm not gonna control your emotions right now. Please watch my vlog, how it started and how it ended. Guys, it's Oggs from the US. Today is the Boxing Day. We have a lot of football on TV, but we're gonna focus on the game between Arsenal and Chelsea Football Club at the Emirates Stadium. Welcome to my sofa vlog from the US. The sofa vlog is the show that I always record before the game, during the game, and after the game to give you my real feelings at real time. I hope you enjoy it. If you do so, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, share, follow me on social media, and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to click that join button if you wanna be member of this channel and get even closer to the channel you will get exclusive content, prizes, and more. Anyways, guys, to be honest with you, I am nervous. I am nervous before every game, by the way, but this game is particular. It's a London derby, it's Arsenal, a wounded animal, and I don't care how many injuries or how many suspension they have because it doesn't count everything goes out of the window when it comes to a derby so on paper chelsea are better than arsenal you know nobody can get in that midfield of chelsea football club right now to be honest with you in the defense the same in the attack you can argue with Aubameyang, martinelli or even saka they can find one place maybe but for the rest of the team I can say they can only fit maybe one or two players but it doesn't count like i said it's gonna count if 11 players on that field can feel the same way that i do right now give me some energy i don't know what's going on but every time we have a so-called easy game we bottle it so today don't let me down please anyways guys i'm nervous but confident i will always back my team to win against any team in the world including bayern munich barcelona psg or other big names i always back my team and we can do it today no matter what team frank lampard is going to put out there we are capable of beating this arsenal team if you can't beat that current arsenal team and then you don't deserve the blue shirt and i don't want to hear anything from anybody i don't want to see them on social media saying the same stupid pr stuff oh it's not the result we wanted but we're gonna keep fighting up to the next and blah 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 shut up show it on the field if you can show the same energy you show on social media we were going to be in a better position by now and we are so nice we are so clean if you are a nice guy on the field you are not gonna win anything you need to be dirty you need to be a bad boy a bad ass that's what jose moreno said so i want to see that energy and determination on the field today this is personal for me Chelsea lineup, Mendy, Rhys James, Zuma, Thiago Silva the captain, Ben Shewell, Kova, K, 
Kante, Mount, Pulisic, Abraham, Werner, Sabs, Kepa, Aspilicueta, Rudiga, Emerson, Jorginho, Gilmo, Harvard, Kalium Hassanadoy, and Olivier Giroud. Man, what a team. I'm happy that Chile and James are back, but I didn't want to rush them. I'm going to trust Frank Lampard and the medical department. For Arsenal, we have Leno, Bellerin, Holding, Pablo Mari, Tieni, Elneny, Zaka, Saka, Smith Rowe, Martinelli, Lacazette, Sabs, Ranason, Cedric, Mustafi, Maitland, Niles, Ceballos, Willock, Pepe, Enketia, and Aubameyang. No, my two agent, William and David Luiz. Unf uh, unfortunately, they don't feel well. And also, uh, Gabriel got in touch with somebody with the virus. Speedy recovery to everybody. But hey, today is about giving Arsenal the beating they deserve. That's it. All right, guys. So first half, we did the Chelsea thing, right? We always take time to settle. I don't know for what reason, but we don't have the energy from the get-go. Arsenal were all over Chelsea Football Club. 42nd only and Martinelli almost scored. Unfortunately, it didn't go in. And 12 minutes, Mount hit the post. And my goodness, I have to tell you, I have a, a superstition. When it comes to hitting posts, when we hit the post, I kind of know that something is going to be wrong. It's going to be a very hard game for us. We could lose, draw, or it's going to be a very tough win. 30 minute penalty kick for Arsenal. Rhys James fouled on Tierney in the box and nothing you can say about it. And that what you get if you get to the opposition box i always remind you guys that anything can happen in the box a penalty kick a deflected goal a handball something can happen in the box when you push but when you dominate the midfield and you play tiki taka stupid football outside the box nothing is going to happen we did the chelsea thing 43 minute a free kick at the edge of the box and oh my gosh Zaka Zaka of all people scored a wonderful free kick half time 2-0 to Arsenal and it's going to be a mountain to climb all they have to do now is to put 11 people behind the ball and protect their goals and that is going to be a big challenge for Frank Lampard to try to figure out how he's going to break that team and try to come back to the game but as it stand it's gonna be a very long 45 minutes second half same old Chelsea just like I said in the first half it's gonna be a mountain to claim and guess what 55 minute soccer what a goal that what you get when you try to shoot on target you can say maybe he didn't mean it maybe he wanted to cross the ball but the end of the day the ball ended up at the back of the net and you can tell the body language from chelsea players edward mendy body language zuma tiago silva everybody pretty much was disappointed and they just pretty much gave up and uh, man i didn't know it was just like men playing against boys kind of and let's talk about the second half when you know Kalim Hasnadoy came on and Christian Pulisic switched and went to the left wing and started you know doing better than on the right wing but man it doesn't really matter i don't even know if i'm gonna finish this um this video because i feel like drinking something strong go to sleep or just disappear for a week because it's going to be 
something else on social media i can't go on social media i can't go on youtube because for arsenal and AFTV, it's gonna be i don't know a two weeks celebration and you can't really blame them because they don't win games and we gave them life again that's what i said in my preview video i said be careful because this is a chelsea thing every time any team having some kind of trouble all you have to do is play against chelsea football club get your confidence back and that's what we do and like i said i'm not sure i'm gonna finish this video so if i decide to cut this video now i don't care about the final result it was awful we might um i don't know equalize or score a few goals at the end or whatever result is going to do to be i'm out i am definitely out and i don't want to hear anything from tiago silva from all the boys to tell us oh no it wasn't our day and blah 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 and let's go to the next shut up man shut up just enjoy your money i didn't see any spirit i didn't see any fighting spirit in anybody so whatever man it is what it is you can blame whoever you want but for now i have to disappear from youtube from all social media because my goodness this is going to be the end of the world